السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I'm Ashraf Khater, professor of surgery, and this is surgery for the medical students. Uh, we will speak now about the basal cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma is a classic example for an ulcer, especially ulcer in the face. Uh, what about the incidence of basal cell carcinoma? Basal cell carcinoma constitutes more than 80% of the face ulcers. Why? Because the basal cell carcinoma is linked to sun exposure and fair skin, so it is very common, especially in the elder age and workers exposing to sun, so constitutes more than 80% of malignant ulcers in the face, especially in the dangerous area of the face. Dangerous area of the face that extends from the tragus of the ear into the uh, angle of the mouth up to the hairline, it's called dangerous area of the face. Why in the dangerous area of the face? Also, it is more exposed to sun and the ultraviolet carcinogenesis. What about the risk factors? You can mention the risk factors from the uh, episode of pre-malignant skin lesions, either fair skin, albinism, zero dermapigmentosa, sun exposure, and so on, so on, so These are the risk factors for the basal cell carcinoma. What about the microscopic examination of the basal cell carcinoma? We can mention basaloid cells with peripheral palisading. Palisading means cells are arranged in rows. Peripheral palisading of basaloid cells. This is a classic microscopic examination of the basal cell carcinoma. What about the behavior of the basal cell carcinoma? It is a locally malignant. It is a locally malignant that spreads locally and invades locally. Is there is metastasizing basal cell carcinoma? It is very, very, very rare. So it is locally malignant unless, unless what? Hmm. Unless it turns into basal squamous carcinoma. We mean squamous cell transformation, transformation into squamous cell. It's called the basal squamous. Uh, carcinoma. What about the clinical types? We have about 12 clinical types and we can start by the first one which is very easy it's called scaly type or superficial type. Scaly type or superficial type it is for differential diagnosis about bowel disease and budget disease so it's called scaly or superficial it is very superficial with no induration at all. Number two, superficial spreading. Number two, superficial spreading. Spreading how it has an advancing border and healing border. Healing border by the body immunity. The body immunity took us in malignant cells and there is healing and there is advancing border. This is superficial spreading. So superficial, number two, superficial spreading. Number three, the field fire. Field fire. We mean by the field fire in the hasalit hariya, we canaset al hitta le fanos. So there is central healing by field fire. We mean central healing by the body immunity. All are indolent types and uh, soft types. Then the classic form of the basal cell carcinoma. We observe this type in the elder age and those with fair skin is the nodule ulcerative type. Starts by nodule. Then the patient scratch this nodule, it will ulcerate. It's called nodulo ulcerative type. This type starts to produce the basal induration. Here the base is indurated. And the edges are rolled in, raised, raised, inverted edges or rolled in edges with indurated base. This is a classic basal cell carcinoma ulcer. It is nodulo ulcerative type. And then there is what we call adenoid cystic type. The uh, beaded margin or the margin nodules appear as barely whitish structures. It is called adenoid cystic type, just it is a descriptive term. And then the pigmented type, which may be mistaken for melanoma. The pigmented type, which may be mistaken for melanoma and the difference only by biopsy, of course. And then the excavating type or erosive type or rodent type 
it tends to invade the deeper structures, especially in the face, it will invade the maxilla, it may invade the temporal region, it may invade the underlying bone, may even erode the eyes. It is called erosive type or rodent type, and this is very difficult to treat by excision. We may do uh, orbital excentration, we may uh, do maxillectomy to, to produce a good safety margin. It is a very bad uh, type, the erosive type or excavating type or rodent type. And then the multiple uh, basal cell carcinoma, which denotes some hereditary uh, tendency, the multiple type. And then what we call the morphia type. The morphia type or the sclerosing type. In this type, the induration is marked in duration of the base that may exceed the border of the ulcer and it is difficult to eradicate except by doing wild local excision with frozen section. In the past, the uh, surgeons were using a technique called MOH technique, using a chemo surgery, using some chemicals to stain the uh, edge and to define the edge. Nowadays, the frozen section ensures the margin negativity by the frozen section. So you must attain negative margin all over the ulcer, otherwise it will recur. Morphia type is characterized by, unfortunately, recurrence. This is morphia type. And then the basosquamous type. How to know that it is basosquamous rather than basal cell carcinoma? By three, three signs. Number one, rapid increase in size, rapid increase in size. Number two, presence of lymph node or distant metastasis. Number three, by raised everted edge. Instead of being inverted, it is raised everted edge. This is the base of squamous cell carcinoma and it is treated as squamous cell carcinoma. And the 11th type is the recurrent type. What are the causes of recurrence? Maybe multiple basal cell carcinomas, maybe morphia type, which extends beyond the outline of the ulcer, morphia type, or maybe the eroding type, it may recur if you leave, for example, infiltrated bone or infiltrated deeper structures, it is the recurrent type or recurrent basal cell carcinoma. And the last one is the metastasizing type of basal cell carcinoma. It is very rare. It is 0.002%. It's very rare, the metastasizing type. We may find distant metastasis and it is still basal cell carcinoma with no squamous uh, transformation. These are the clinical types of basal cell carcinoma. Please remember, because they are very, very important. Speaking about the treatment of basal cell carcinoma, although it is radiosensitive, but radiotherapy may not be suitable in certain situations. Number one, if it is a small ulcer, small ulcer, حاجه قد كده, ليه اروح اخد multiple sessions of radiotherapy? Small ulcer is easily treated by either laser ablation, if it is a scaly type or superficial type, scaly type is ablated just by laser therapy, or if there is induration of the base, it will be excised simply by simple surgery with primary uh, suturing with safety margin just one or two millimeters in the face or half centimeter in the trunk or uh, the other areas. It is called wide local excision with safety margin. Wide local excision with safety margin. If it is a small or if it is adjacent to the eye, we can use eye shield, of course, but if it is closer to the eye, we prefer surgery. If there is infiltration of the bone, there is hazard of radiation over the bone, radiation osteitis. So if it is adjacent to bone or invading the bone, surgery is much better, especially the erosive type or the eroding type, surgery is much better. Especially in the morphia type or on top of syphilis, there is excessive fibrosis and the fibrosis is a barrier against radiotherapy. So in the morphia type or if there is excessive fibrosis, surgery is better. So we prefer surgery, which is wide local excision with safety margin with the small ulcers 
ulcers adjacent to an important structure, either the eye or the bone, or ulcer on top of excessive fibrosis. Here we prefer wide local excision with good safety margin, and the safety margin is assessed by frozen section. If it is infiltrated margin, I can re re excise again till reach a good safety margin. And of course, there is other types of treatment for the basal cell carcinoma. We mentioned the laser ablation. Sometimes we may use five fluorouracil creams in this superficial and scaly types. Five fluorouracil cream, it may work well in this situation. And sometimes there is cryotherapy, it may aid in this treatment. And lastly, hoping you much of success and the best of luck. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.